So this is yesterday's tutorial, but from a slightly different perspective. I've made the fly a wee bit smaller as well. That's going to make it a wee bit easier, I think. So basically, we're going to do the, the double turtle, but from this perspective this time. So it's up through the bottom. Here we go, look, up I fly, up I fly. There's the eye of the fly. Up from the bottom, throw the fly away, turn onto the ground, out the road somewhere. Two big loops, one. I usually do it just round my, when I'm tying a fly on, I just usually do it round my two, my three fingers like so, and there's my loops and my little fly goes through that hole and make my, I let, make my little half hitch and straight through that hole. But because our fly is big, we're going to increase the size of that loop, so we're going to make one, but make it even bigger, why not then, we've got plenty gadget line here. So here we now have two loops there. You can see two loops and the small end. Yeah, so then just take the small end and we go over the top, underneath, and back through to give you that half hitch around the two loops. You pull that taut. Dentist doesn't like me doing that. And then you have this. So what you want is the two loops there, and these are these are going to grip the shank of the hook, the eye of the hook, and you want that little end facing away from you. Really important that that end is facing away from you and not round like this. We don't want it like that. We want it like this. Your fly is going to come back up here and onto this knot now. So I'm going to hold the fly over a bit here. Bit of electrical um, wire. So, fly comes back like so, and the eye of the fly drops onto the knot, the turtle knot. So there, then, I, then I'm sliding my fingers down, and I get a hold of the eye of the fly, and I grip it like so. Then what I do is I pass the fly through the two loops, like that, and very importantly, over the small end here as well. Not in there, but over the small end. So, we'll just show you that again. We're going to drop the, light, the fly down onto the knot. We're going to grab the knot onto the, onto the eye of the fly, and then we're going to pass the fly through the two knots, including that little end. It's mega important. Now we'll have that little end underneath the, the two loops. Look, not on top of the two knots, the two loops, but underneath it. Now we'll have that. We're going to keep a hold of this. We're going to then take the small end and press that against the shank of the hook. And as soon as I press that against the shank of the hook, I can now let go of everything else on this hand. I then pull with one and each when I pull my main line where it's going to the line, the fly line, you'll see one of the loops going smaller. Look, see I'll just do it that way. See you can make, see one of the loops going smaller. Don't just keep pulling or that'll end up. This one will eventually tighten up. The big one will eventually tighten up but what that'll do is it'll end up with a big curl around your nylon. And if you've ever seen nylon under the water with a curl on it, every time that nylon has a little um, curl or anything else, in, any any problem at all in this area, the, the fish I'm sure can see it. Anyway, it makes the nylon much more visible. That's for another video. But anyway, so you don't do that. Come back. If I pull this one, you'll see one going smaller. Look, don't keep pulling that. Don't keep pulling this. Get a hold of the small one. And pull that, and then the bigger one will become now the small one. And then, once that one's tight around there, then pull on this one. And now, everything's tight, and you have a perfect turtle. And the great thing about this knot is that there's not one part of the nylon that's getting trapped. So the two loops are pulling and getting tighter on the shank of the hook all the time so there's not one part 
of this knot that's getting tighter and, and could possibly cut the nylon under its own tension. This is the perfect knot for an up-eyed or, in the case of trout, a down-eyed um, fly. So there we go, that's the double tunnel from a different perspective.